Right, what is up guys, welcome to episode number two of the match prediction series. Um, so basically this weekend, obviously, the return of the Premier League, obviously, it has been, um, I think it's been three weeks since we last watched the Premier League, obviously, because of the FA Cup and the international break. But now we are back with some Premier League action, which is going to be fun, and obviously I will be returning for my match predictions. So the first game, I'm going to try and reel them one by one. Mm. So Aston Villa against Chelsea. I went for a three 0 win for Chelsea. Obviously, Remy Gard left Aston Villa. I think it was on Tuesday, then or Wednesday. I can't remember. But yeah, Aston Villa. They they're pretty much down now. I think I don't think they I don't think they will stay up. And obviously, Chelsea have been some good form lately. So I think it's going to be three 0 win for uh, Chelsea. And um, next game, Stoke against Swansea. I've gone for a two one win for Stoke. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm just. Did basically just gone off Bing because Bing predicted the Stork win. So I decided just to do Bing this because I want you on Bing at the minute just in case you guys can do it. Well, just, so yeah, also, yeah. And uh, next game, Arsenal against Watford. I went for a 2 0 win for Arsenal. And Arsenal, I don't think they will win the title. But I think I do think they will get Champions League place as long as they keep winning. Obviously, Watford haven't been in the greatest form lately. So I've gone for a 2 0 win for Arsenal. Now next game, Sunderland against West Ham. Obviously, my team Sunderland. I went for a one 0 win for Sunderland. Obviously, against all odds, Sunderland actually favourites to win this because West Brom pretty much chucked the game away against Norwich last last time. And obviously, yeah, well, we will get the Norwich in a minute. So I've gone for one 0 win for Sunderland because Sunderland Sunderland need to win this game. This game is so big. Honestly, it's not as big as obviously the derby last time, but yeah, this game is really big because if Sunderland don't win this, then. Pfft, one or trouble. Next game, West Ham against Crystal Palace. I went for a one 0 win for West Ham. Obviously, Crystal Palace are the only team in English England's top four divisions that have not won a game in twenty sixteen, which is pretty ridiculous to be honest. Despite the form they were in earlier on, obviously West Ham have been really good form, and obviously I think they will finish in the basically in the top six to be honest. And that's well, that's only if they keep things going. Obviously, eight games left, or well, seven games for most teams. But obviously, for Sunderland, obviously eight games left. I just really a lot of scores there, which is bad. So, next game, Bournemouth against Manchester City. I went for a 3 1 win for Man City. Obviously, I wasn't entirely sure about this one because Man City haven't been in the greatest form lately and Bournemouth have been doing okay. But I, I've been doing what I think will happen on the day. Obviously, today is obviously these fixtures. Obviously, there's, there's, only, two, there's only two games that are on tomorrow, which is Sunday. So, I went for a 3 1 and then Man City. Next game, big relegation game, Norwich against Newcastle. I went for a 1 1 draw. I don't know because obviously Newcastle haven't actually lost to Sunderland. I, I hate saying that, but Newcastle had haven't lost to Sunderland last time. So, and obviously Norwich massive win for them last time against West Brom, who Sunderland played today. So I've gone for that. Obviously the next game, obviously a big game. Obviously in terms of well trying to get Europa League really well. Tottenham obviously are chasing for the title, but Liverpool trying to get Europa League. I went for a 3-2 win for Tottenham against Liverpool. Obviously, Tottenham, they need to win as many games as possible and hope that Leicester keep drop points. But I think Leicester had this in the bag. I know they've got... I know, and Leicester obviously five points clear of Tottenham at the minute. But I think Leicester will do this. Now then, next... Now, Sunday's game. So, there's only two games. they got Leicester and Southampton. I went for a 2-0 win for Leicester. Leicester have been on this amazing run. Where I don't, I don't think they've only lost two. I don't, they've only lost twice this season. That was against Liverpool and against Arsenal. And no, I know, but um, the Leicester have only lost once at home and lost lost once away, which is actually really good for them. Despite the fact at this point last season they were obviously in the obviously they were bottom of the league. Last game, Man United against Everton. I've gone for a three-two win for Man United. That's basically because Man United have been magnificent at home this season, but they've been lacking away. Obviously, this game will also become a big game because of the whole David Moyes and Maran Fellaini stuff. I knew basically it's just a big. It's on TV, I think, yeah. So, man, I went for 3 2 in Sheen United, obviously, because Everton not doing this well. So, not doing that well this season. They're only in. They're in I think they're in at the 12th, which is pretty bad for them. I know this last season they finished in 11th. Obviously, it's not been a very good time for Everton since, obviously, they got in the Europe League that one time they finished 5th. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the second edition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and like this video. Bye!